Well, how do that, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm drinking coffee. That's quite a strong coffee. It made my eyes go fizzly. Yeah, if, if, if fizzly's even a word, mate. Anyway, today, chums, I'm jumping into No Man's Sky, and what I'm going to be showing you guys in the viewerverse is although we haven't got ship customization, we do have something that's quite close in a roundabout way. I mean, yes, you can't cross modulate bits, you can't put bits from a hauler onto a fighter, but you can find any ship in pretty much any coloration and configuration that you want inside the viewerverse using some of these steps inside of this video, people. So if that's for you, you're in the right place. Anyway, let's jump on over into game. Boom. So there I go. I'm at a natural portal at the moment. Now, what I would suggest is, well, what I do anyway, I know this is a little bit cheaty, but I go into difficulty over here. And I just changed that into creative mode. So yeah, I can do pretty much whatever I want. I can buy whatever ship I want. I can get a load of modules and I can do it up to the nines. Now, I've got all 12 of my ships. So this isn't for me. This is just for you guys in the viewerverse. But if you want the full enjoyment, I would suggest leaving it in whichever game mode you're comfortable in. But you play how you want to play. For me, this is how I'm going to play it because I'm just doing a tutorial. Anyway, let's get rid of the game image and let's jump on over to my laptop screen. For this to work, it does help if you've got an internet connection on a mobile device or a laptop or desktop. So I'm going to be using a laptop or desktop and I'm over on Reddit and this is the coordinate exchange, people inside the viewers. I put four links inside of the video description so you can go and hit this up and do this yourself. There are Facebook groups like the Interstellar Index that does the same thing as a heads up if you don't like Reddit. But anyway, in this top search bar, all I've done here is I've typed in Red Yellow Heavy Viper. Now, I've got a good friend inside of the actual community called Ricey Starship Emporium, and he helped me find the configuration of ship that I really wanted, my logo ship, heck yes. So I figured I'm going to jump in, in and I'm going to look see if I can find almost the exact same model of ship that he found me, but in his logo colours. And you know what, I've already gone through the search results and there's a bevy of them, there really is. There's loads to choose from. I did like this one because it's very similar to mine. The only trouble is it just says edit galaxy. I don't know whether that one is Euclid or a different galaxy. So we could end up going on a wild goose hunt. But I have got these open along the top on the ones that I do like. I love this one. I even like the little side wings. Mine hasn't got the side wings, but I like that one. But I think it's a little bit too yellow. A bit too yellow for his, uh, for his coloration. And I found this one, which is lovely. It's red and yellow, and it's also got like this green sort of panel on it. Now, I know Zoo loved the colour green, so maybe that one might appeal to Ricey. I'm really liking the gunmetal sort of blacky colour that it has to the actual Viper as well. And I think that's very in keeping with Ricey's sort of logo. The only thing that isn't is the green panel and some of the green little decals, but it has got nods to somebody I know he was quite close to. So maybe that one. It has got the box thrusters rather than the sort of piping and the giant sort of air, um, engine that I've got on mine, whatever that's called. This one I really like because I like the side panels. I really like the vipery type um, of nose and, and coloration, but I really like these sort of tie wings that it's got on the side. I'm not overly a fan of the fan engine, but this one's pretty darn sweet, isn't it? So I shortlisted that one as well. And then there's this one which I think is the closest to my ship again, but it's got these sort of shock wing sort of bits on the side. It looks a little bit orangey in this sort of screenshot, but I think it could be red. It does say red in here. It's very clearly red and yellow, and I really like that one. It's got the big engine that I like. It's got the ducks that I like. So it's between that one and perhaps that one. But I feel, like I say, that one's too yellow. So I think it's this one that actually wins on out, and it's in Euclid. It's in a tier three system. So I think I'm going to jump on over and see if we can see if this ship is still there, people inside the viewerverse. That's what I'm thinking anyways. So anyhow, so I need the actual portal code. So what I'll do is I'll just move this tab over onto my other screen and I'll jump into game. So let's just jump over into the game image. So let's uh, get rid of that one. Chicka boom. And I'll move this over onto this screen here. Cool, right. Well, I can see the actual portal code now. Sorry if it doesn't look like I'm looking at you, but I'm going to be looking towards the actual portal code in a moment. Right, oh, here we go. Let's hit on up the portal. And so in creative mode, I don't have to activate it. It's already activated. So that's, that takes a sting out of that straight away. Activate them on portal. There we go. Oh, I'll move myself up the screen for a second because you can 
You can sort of see me all over the place, can't you? Here we go. Boom. There you go. I'm off the screen now. Righto. So we want ourselves a dipple of dough. Dum dum dum. Dip of dough. Boom. A Sunday set. Chicka pal. An eclipse. Eclipse. And a wigwam. That's our first four. Next four digits, we want a pyramid or a triforce. Chicka pal. A voxel. Or one of those triple pursuit type things, or a ball, or a brick in a box, whatever you, well, however you see it. A reflexion H, boom, and another one of those sort of 3D cubes with a brick in it. That's how I see it, anyway. People see all different things looking at that one. Next four, last four, waypoint, double, double eclipse, kapat, boom, and a flux capacitor. Lovely jubbly. I think I can reappear it back on the screen. There I am. Lovely jubbly. Oh. It's put in the uh, view count, but uh, you know, I'm not live. Expand, dang you! Yeah, I've got everything in folders and all grouped. Sorry if you heard a lot of clickings of the mouse then going mental. Let's jump on into the portal. <laughs> Lovely jobs. So, I have a little bit of my uh, coffee while we're jumping into there, people inside the view of us. You know what? I could put the game image on screen so we can see when I arrive, okay? There we are. Boom! There we go. Still teleporting as we speak, peeps. Lovely job. Oh, that's, that's, that's a good coffee. I think I'm tuned into it now a bit more, people. But yeah, it did taste strong at first. It really did. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, dilly, yum, yum. Yum, yum. So what I'll do is I'll go check to see if this ship is actually there. But this was actually put out there by Schwartz Wears Hairs or something like that. I'll put up the actual spelling a bit later, people, because I probably butchered that to death. And then some. Right now, so we're in game, but here you go. Here's my fighter. This is my one here. You can see it looks quite majestic. It looks quite awesome, doesn't it? So the one that I found for Ricey looks fairly similar in configuration. I don't know whether he would like the black hull more than the grey hull, but yeah, you know, this is something that he could do himself and probably is. You know, he hunts ships on a day to day. I guess he does. Now I used to go up to the station and uh, see if the station flew in there as a first waiver, which I might still do. Has this system got a station, though? It should have. OK, right. Well, let's see if we can spot it on on this little mini radar. Um, I am playing on the slightly smaller screen than normal. That's over there. There we go. It's over there. We're flying to the station. We see what luck we have in the station. If we don't have much luck inside of the station, I'll probably look for a trading post on the most Subtle of planets. When I say subtle of planets, I mean it hasn't got storms that roll in every five freaking seconds, because that can really scupper ship hunting, can't it? Anyways, let's uh, fly into the old um, station. We can have a look at the multi-tool, why ships start to spawn in. Take a quick look there, see if there's anything to note inside of here. But yeah, these side rail fighters, they used to be pretty rare in the old days. There were certain tiers, and this is a T-free ship. Um, so yeah, the only things that were rarer than the side rail fighters was the exotic ships back in the day, people. And they're still fairly rare now to get the side rails, the heaviest to fly in. So we could be here for a little while to see if it still frequents this system. But I just want to do a full on test. I mean, this was shared out three years ago. And a lot of people say about, you know, ship seeds aren't what they used to be three years ago. Poem of Matter is actually an A-class rifle that's got pretty good slot configuration. It's got two next to it on the boosted already, people. Pretty nice little rifle, that. Anyway, let's uh, head on over here then, and let's see how long it takes for the ship to fly in. Now, I could just go into drinking coffee mode and uh, see what happens, or I could cut the footage here and rejoin it a bit later. We'll see what flies in on the first wave. We'll see if it's a first waiver. Right, so we have got ourselves quite a nice fighter that's flown in. Quite an ugly looking little shuttle. And not much else right now, people. So, oh, I'll actually tell a light. We've got a barrel nose fighter in here as well. Oh, and that looks like something out of Battlestar Galactica, doesn't it? I do like the barrel noses. I have myself a barrel nose of my own as well. Well, that's pretty nice. Oh, and that's not it over there. That's a shuttle as well. So you know what? Let's just, let's go fly down to a um, a trading post, shall we, people? Let's have a quick look to see if we've got a planet in this system that hasn't got any storms. So I'm hoping it doesn't say activated. So there we go. That one hasn't got any activated in it. It says high energy planet, Gamma. We can fly down there. I'll fly over to the lighter side of the planet. 
which is around the corner. We've got to go around this way. Boom. And then as I fly in through the atmosphere, down where the air is not so clear and where there's a bit of friction, I pop my economy scanner then, people. Hopefully it's going to locate us a trading post. So as soon as it comes up with a the text, there you go. Oh look, we found ourselves a crashed freighter right here. It's just below this cloud level. Or oh, there was one. It's freaking gone now. <laughs> it was there. Trust me, I saw it with my bead little eye peepers. Oh, there it is. Anyway, then we go into here. Bang. Not that one. This one. Economy scanner. Chicka boom. Let's found ourselves a trading post. So let's fly on up again. Meow. Up where the air is clear. Oh, great. It's got yellow skies. Well, that's that's kind of typical for gamma planets, to be honest, people. I'm not a fan of yellow skies. Right, let's fly it up. Dilly dee, dilly dum. Lovely jubbly. Let's see if we can spot that trading post that I popped momentarily ago. Are you the trading post? Yes, you are. Let's go. For whatever reason, it's not letting me pulse down again. There's a whole idea of pulsing up. It, it's a slightly larger planet than I, than I usually go to, to be honest, if truth be told. I usually go to the smaller planets and systems. It doesn't overly matter. Barrel roll and accelerate a mondo. Well, it's going to take me like 14 seconds to get there at this rate because pulse did not work. And it's going up, so I'm going to pulse up. Sod it. Pulse up and then pulse back down again. I know that seems a little bit crazy when I was only like 14 seconds away but this should get us there in less than that there we go and also the time was changing it went up to 21 didn't it it was going the wrong way as you fly down and you hit friction your ship slows down and so that's why I always pulse up and pulse back down again anyways here we are let's see if it flies in in here now I'm gonna park just away from the actual trading post so I don't take up a landing pad which does help a little. Now you can put yourself down a little mini save point on there and you can do the um, reload sort of scam on in this sort of thing to bring it in. I thought that was an exotic then for a second. It's not, it's a fighter, but at that weird angle that it was at, it did look very exotic like. And the nice thing about doing this ship hunting is even if you do land on a planet where it's got raging storms, in creative mode you're not overly affected by it there you go i'm going to put down the save point as well because in creative mode you can just build whatever you freaking like and i've hit save let's take a little butchers around let's see if i can spot the fighter coming in this is why i don't overly like doing it on the planet one because it affects the actual hues so everything looks freaking yellow on a, one of these sort of planets it, you can't help it and two the storms can be a little bit of a pain in the neck Right, okay, well it didn't fly in, so I'm just going to hit another save. I'm just going to do another reload, so I'm just go down here. Options, reload, kaboom. And I can do this as many times as I need to until the actual ship comes in. And you can enjoy a little bit of cockpit. So this is just to show you that although we haven't got ship customization, if you know the actual configuration of the ship that you want, you know the colours that you want it in, Jump on over to the coordinate exchange, jump on over to the interstellar index, whichever you prefer. Reddit is the coordinate exchange and the interstellar index is Facebook. Put links to both inside the video description, people. Hit them up and hopefully you're going to find the actual configuration of ship that you want. Now, when it comes to when it comes to actual ship customization though i do have a video on how i could envisage it working with you actually using parts from like coolers on shuttles or shuttles on fighters etc etc almost like a lego modular type ship customization a little bit like the ship customization that we see inside of um starfield perhaps people anyway i'll put a link up there on how that could work go and hit that one up for ship customization poops okay that's a salute mondo Anyways, so we've got some ships landing. We've got ourselves quite a nice hauler. Oh, I like that. I like that quite a fair bit, actually. It's a, one of those broken... Well, not broken neck, but scaffolding neck ones. Oops, I just went out of camera mode then. I wanted to see what sort of colour this was. It's hard to say, isn't it? Now, you can go and talk to the vendor, but I think that's white and green. White and green, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's white and green. And we've got another hauler over there. And another hauler. This system seems to be great for haulers green ones as well 
And another hauler jumping over there. So we still haven't got the ship flying. Now I could do a reload or I could just stand here until it flies in. You know what? I'm going to stand here until it flies in. I just want to confirm that ship finds on the actual interstellar index or on um, the coordinate exchange are still valid even after three freaking years, mate. Anyway, I'll see you in a second. Okay, people. I just cut away just for a little bit and it came in. There it is. It's flying in right now. Freaking great. Let's go and have a better look at it. Oh, it does look like it's red and yellow. Nice. Okay, let's have a little chat with this guy. Hello, mate. I want to have a look at your ship, pal. Yeah. Make an offer on life form ship. Well, there it is. But is that an orangey red? Or is that, or is that not? Let's, have a, let's just take me off the screen for a bit. Let's have a better look. It's more of an orangey red, I think. I think that's orange. I don't think that is red at all, people inside the viewerverse. It looks more orange to me. Okay, well, I guess people see different shades of red, don't they? But yeah, to me, that definitely looks orange. So yeah, I don't think that is a ricey find. But at the same time, I think it proves... I mean, even when we was looking at it inside of the old um, Reddit... I mean, you can see my armour. That's freaking red. That's red as red. This is, this is like an a bait orange red i mean that's red there but that's clearly when you put it next to each other like that you can see the red and versus or even the frame to match a webcam right now that's red that is like a or a burnt orange isn't it it is i mean even when you look at the uh the decals here against that you can you can sort of see the contrast or even that so to put it red is is kind of a bit of a bit of a shite to be honest but yeah what a nice little configuration and i'm fairly sure if if ricey wanted to find himself a, a viper in red and yellow um he's got a lot to choose from over on the old reddit verse and i haven't even checked facebook there's probably even more over on facebook so there you go people that's pretty much everything i've got for you today so it was just using the actual coordinate exchange and other people's finds online and if you're a ship hunter it's a really good community to get yourself into if you prefer Reddit to Facebook, jump in, make a Reddit account and start posting. Just have a look at the rules first and what you need to do, because you have to put everything in the titles like they've done. I mean, if I jump on back on over into there, I'll show you actually. Um, so if I come over there get rid of my... Close that off and just get rid of that for a second. You can see here on the actual title what they've put in there. So it's best to have the colours. You can see there it says red. That's orange. It's freaking orange, mate. But yeah, and you have to put in like the configuration, heavy viper, shockwave wing, single thruster, no fin, blah -de blah and put in the actual starship and Euclid as the tags for the flare. Make sure you've got the portal code, and that's pretty much all you need, people. And then people will put comments on, say thank you very much, lovely, lovely, really cool, great, all that sort of stuff. So if this, that's your kind of thing, why not get involved inside your ship hunting? Share your finds, even if you don't use the ship yourself. Other people might like them. You might get well known inside of the ship hunting community. You can also put multi tools on there and all sorts of other finds and pets and lovely stuff. So if you've already done everything and uh, you want to help others, do that. But you can see up here it was three years ago, three years ago, and this is the chap that actually um, put it out there. Now I can't really pronounce your name, Swatch Hairs, Swatch Hairs seventy three or something like that. There we are. So anyhow, there we go, people. Salute to Mondo out there in the viewer verse, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.